People who operate programs to reduce poverty are constantly facing the same question. Which programs work and which don't? At JPAL North America, we work with academic researchers and partner organizations to break these big issues down into specific, testable questions, such as, does expanding health insurance improve health outcomes? Can summer jobs for youth reduce crime? To evaluate the effectiveness of various programs designed to reduce poverty, we use a method called a randomized controlled trial. Measuring social programs is complicated. For example, to determine whether intensive math tutoring can boost test scores, one may consider two hypothetical ninth grade students. Oscar, who receives tutoring, and Derek, who doesn't. At the end of the school year, if Oscar's scores rise and Derek's do not, one might conclude that tutoring worked. But we don't know for sure whether the tutoring program was responsible for boosting Oscar's scores. Maybe Oscar went to a school with more resources than Derek's school. Maybe Oscar used a different textbook than Derek. Perhaps Oscar was more excited about math to begin with and thus motivated to work harder. Was it the tutoring program or these other factors that boosted Oscar's scores? These questions are impossible to answer by simply comparing Oscar's and Derek's test scores without taking the other factors into account. This is why we use a randomized controlled trial. It allows us to isolate the specific impact of the tutoring program. Three JPAL affiliates evaluated an intensive math tutoring program like the one we've described using an RCT. They randomly selected some students to receive tutoring as part of the treatment group, while others were part of the control group and did not receive tutoring. At the end of the program, they compared the average scores. When students are randomly assigned to be in either the treatment or control group, two groups are created that, prior to the program, are the same on average across several metrics, including level of school resources, motivation, teacher quality, and previous test scores. Therefore, any difference in average test scores at the end must be due to the tutoring program suggesting that tutoring programs could be an effective way to boost the academic performance of adolescents who have fallen behind. We can extend this methodology to determine the effectiveness of other programs as well. At JPAL North America, we evaluate programs in education, health, crime, environment, labor markets, and governance. When properly implemented, Randomized control trials provide accurate and credible estimates of the impact of a program. This allows policymakers and program directors to roll out and scale up the most effective programs and helps us reduce poverty with policies that are informed by evidence. To learn more about JPAL North America, visit our website.